This is Bay Radio. Hello, this is Joshua Parfit, the digital editor for Bay Radio. And today, we're going to walk you through some simple steps to find out the exact coronavirus statistics for your municipality in the Costa Blanca, in Alicante, and in the entire Valencian community. Let's go. The process is very simple. The health department in the Valencian community, also known as Sanitat, update their regional statistics every day and they've provided an interactive map for anybody who lives here for free access to go on and find out what the situation is in their community with a number of parameters. The address is coronavirus.san.gva.es forward slash and then you need to type in estadísticas. Now, first of all, we need to look at the dates. Usually in Spain, the coronavirus statistics come out between 5 and 6 p.m. and then they are later updated for the uh, autonomous regions. As you can see, we are now looking at yesterday's statistics, which should be fully updated since the beginning of the state of alarm that came into effect on March the 14th. What we have here on the left is a list of all the municipalities. We have an interactive map of all the municipalities that are colour coordinated according to the severity of the coronavirus outbreak situation there. And then over here on the right, we have certain statistics which are in Valencian. However, they do translate quite easily. Here we have positives. Here we have hospitalised. The UTI are people who are in intensive care. We have deaths. We have... Uh, patients cured and we have active cases. Now, what you may be most interested in is to look at your municipality. If we zoom in here, we can start to see a closer map of what we're looking at first is the Marina Alta region. Now, the Marina Alta region has been in the news recently as it was the second best municipality in the entire Valencian community. However, recently there have been resurgences of certain coronavirus outbreaks in this region. What we need to do to see those most recent statistics is to click on your municipality. In this case, we have selected Denia. And here at the bottom, you can see PCR, which is the official testing technique for coronavirus that takes around four to six hours and is the most trusted test at present. If you toggle to the right, you can see the PCR tests that have been conducted in the last 14 days. You can see the colour changes, but now when we click on it, we can see right here that there have been three positive cases in Denia in the last 14 days up to the 3rd of August. If we move further down to Alfaz del P that has been in the news lately, we can see there have been five. And if we move down into Benidorm, we can see that there have been 18 in the last 14 days. In the same way, if you may be living further down in Alicante, you can just move further down towards Torre Vieja, for example. Click on Torre Vieja and see that there have been 25 in the last 14 days. Now, if you're feeling like you'd like to investigate a little more, this graph over here on the right is quite interesting. If you click to enlarge it, now we can see the daily updates of coronavirus positive by PCR, deaths and cured cases. Now, as we can see here at the beginning of the state of the alarm, the most dominant statistic in the daily updates was coronavirus positives by PCR. But now as we come into July, the so-called new normal, you can start to see that the cases in the Valencian community have been increasing again at a near similar rate to back in March, which has got many people worried that we may be looking at further restrictions. Now what is interesting to remember is in the second outbreak, the main number of people affected are in the 20 to 30 to 40 age range, which means that the rates of hospitalization at this so-called second wave are not as drastic as they were back in March when the average age of coronavirus patients was up there in the 60s and 70s. And there is a very brief overview of how to check out the coronavirus statistics in your municipality in Spain's Valencian community. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel via links in the description below as we shall be continuing to report on the ongoing coronavirus situation while mixing in interviews with experts and many little tips and uh, tricks that you may not have known. This was Joshua Parfit for Bay Radio. Thank you.